Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Up State, and today I want to provide a little bit of a reaction to a roundtable that Uber recently posted on YouTube. It's about maps and navigation, and they brought in some Uber drivers from around the country. So Uber's head of products, Sachin Kanzal, I apologize if I mispronounced that, basically asked some questions of some of these drivers and about some of the features that they're starting to roll out, planning to roll out. And one of the things that I really liked learning about in this interview is that the head of product has actually tries to go out on Friday nights and do deliveries and give rides to see how the product is working. So that's, that's good to hear that he's actually in a vehicle using the product. So I'm going to address a few of the instances here. I'm going, to, I'm going to try and edit out the responses from the other people. If you want to hear their responses, there'll be a link in the description below to the full replay of this. And I'm just going to respond to what they had to say. I'm going to put some headphones in so I can hear it and we'll go from there. And we have been doing several things in order to get that feedback. Our teams run surveys so we can get more volume of feedback. But sometimes we do smaller focus groups so we can have a conversation about. I would really like to see them involve some of the people that are here on YouTube in this conversation because we're some of the most vocal people on the platform. We share our opinions every week about how things are working and how things aren't working. And I would like to say, hey, reach out to us and we would love to share our opinions because we do it every day. So uh, let's first start with pickups and drop-offs. Many issues here. So we heard that yes. sometimes the side of street is not very clear. Is my pickup location on the left side or the right side? Which that can, can be cause very confusion difficult. on the driver's side as well as on the rider's side. So that was one. The second one was sometimes the description we provide for the pickup location may not be clear enough. It says right. 100 Main Street, but okay, where is 100 Main Street? Maybe hard to figure out. And then the third one is the issue that we just talked about, which is if we send you into a sprawling complex like an apartment complex or uh, it's a mall or a hospital, sometimes figuring Always out the exact problem. point can be can be can be difficult as well. So our teams have been working on these problems, and we have a few things uh, to to talk about that we are introducing. Some of these features have already been introduced, by the way, and some of them are coming up. So first one, side of street. So we are now actually going to help you understand whether it's on the left side of the street or the right side of the street. And we're going to... Knowing if a pickup is on the left or right side of the street is very important. The other thing that's important is letting the passenger know, hey, um, your driver is going to be coming and they're going to be on the opposite side of the street. Make sure you cross the street so you can safely get in the vehicle. It's a safety issue for the driver if we don't know what side they're coming from. And it's a safety issue for the passenger if they have to cross the street after we've parked or we're trying to make a U-turn or whatever the case may be. Mark the pickup point on, on one side of the street. So there's no ambiguity, there's no confusion there. That's one. The second one is we're gonna provide a more descriptive label. So rather than saying pick up at 100 Market Street, it will say pick up at the Starbucks at 100 Market Street. That's very important if you ask me because just giving an address isn't always helpful. Um, in my area, there can be a business right next to someone's home. And so I don't know if I'm pulling up to a residential pickup or I'm pulling up to a store or a restaurant or something like that. So that's always very important to know what side of the street it's on, giving a description of the place where we're going to pick it up. After a while, you kind of learn the addresses but knowing that I'm picking someone up at a hotel as opposed to picking someone up at a restaurant, that kind of is going to gear me and let me know, okay, I might have someone who's got some luggage and or I might be picking up more than one person. So that's important to know. Especially for people who are doing deliveries, you know, when it comes to those sprawling complexes, now we're going to be able to pinpoint where in the complex that drop off point may be and help you guide to the best of our ability there rather than just sending you to the central leasing office in an apartment. That is super, super important because a lot of times what happens 
is just that. Whether it's um, a trailer park or an apartment complex, the address that we get is the leasing office. And the person who ordered the food doesn't bother to let you know, hey, I'm actually way down on the other side of the apartment complex. Now, I have had, fortunately, once people don't get their food after a couple times or it's late or whatever, or when you're picking someone up, they have to walk a, walk a distance, they learn to start messaging the driver and say, hey, I'm my apartment is way in the back, or you need to go around the fountain or whatever the case may be. So these things are going to be a lot more helpful knowing going into it where we have to go. With that, let's move to navigation. So navigation, what we heard, one of the main things, the general theme that we heard was just more options are important. Yeah. And that cuts into multiple different categories. So some of the things that we have been doing are, one, the multiple route options, being able to provide that in your app. So to the extent that the time and the distance is generally equivalent, we can give you two or three routes, and then you can select which route is the most convenient to you. So this is important because a lot of times what happens, especially when you have a passenger in the car, some of the routes that are provided, the passenger wants to go a different way. And a lot of times you may be seeing an instance where maybe they're taking you someplace and you're not 100% sure that the turn that they're making is a viable route. And if you see these options in the app available, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Um, if let's say any of those routes are not convenient, not desirable, we are also now providing a one button access, one touch access to an alternate app. So let's say if the Uber navigation is not providing you the directions that are the best, then you have a way to go to an alternate app for that particular trip. And then when you go to the next trip, then again, you're back to Uber navigation. Again, this is a good option because having to fumble around and switch out to another app while you're driving, it's dangerous for you. It's dangerous for the passenger. And passengers don't like seeing you mess with your phone while you're driving. So just one tap to get different directions in a different app is also very helpful as well. And so that can be a very quick access to an alternate app. And then finally, for... You know, we do have a lot of delivery people on two wheelers in several parts of the uh, country. And for them specifically, we want to provide them access to uh, safe bike navigation maps because easily launch an alternate app that that may be their favorite bike navigation app. So these are some of the things that we're doing. And in addition, we are also looking at rerouting in the case of congestion. So let's say you're on a route, that's your selected route, but traffic is building up at that point. And it now so happens that an alternate route may actually be better for you from a time uh, perspective. So as long as the distance is not too far off. All right. Sorry for such an abrupt cut, but my recording cut out on me earlier and I wanted to make comments on a few other things. So one other thing that was touched on was that they would be able to reroute in the cases of construction or congestion. And that can be very frustrating to a passenger when you're sitting on a route and the app is telling you go this direction and you can't go that direction. It's frustrating for the passenger and it's frustrating for the driver. And sometimes you can add half an hour to a trip and if you're taking someone to a train station or the airport, they could miss their train or their flight. So this is a very important thing that they're offering and changing as well. The final thing that they mentioned was with regard to tolls. Now, tolls aren't really a big deal where I am, but I know in some areas they are. And Uber doesn't always pay for a toll, and sometimes people just don't want to go through a toll booth or take a toll route. Now, here in New York now, everything is automated. There's no toll booths. You don't have to take out your money and pay. So if you have an easy pass, you get through. If you don't have an easy pass, then what happens is you get a bill in the mail. So avoiding toll routes is very important for drivers now. And I think that is going to be something that many drivers, it'd be nice if there was an option in the app to just tick always avoid toll routes because some people just don't like going through tolls. One of the 
lady said she doesn't like having to take out her debit card or any money in front of a passenger because it's a safety issue. So overall, I thought that this was a great roundtable. Again, invite some of us who are on YouTube. We are frequently giving our opinions and we would love to be able to do it in an official capacity to YouTube as well. I look forward to seeing more roundtables like this. And hey, give this video a like if you want to see reaction videos like this when more of this stuff is published from Uber. And I'll be sure to make sure to include it. My name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.